Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths, and more advanced canon stuff, and this is hopefully going to be a very, very quick uh, little tutorial slash video, uh, tutorial video in fact, on diff guns, which I have covered on the channel before, way, way long ago in the misty mists of the past. Uh, what is a diff gun? Let's start with that. So, diff stands for direct input feed, and is referring to the practice of taking advanced cannons and putting the ammo intakes directly onto the firing piece. So, uh, no autoloaders, no clips, anything like that, just directly onto the firing piece. And, uh, yeah, that, that's basically it. That's the entire definition of them. And so, this is not a particularly meta thing to do for the most part. Uh, advanced cannons have autoloaders and clips and all the other fun stuff. Uh, for a reason, uh, it's because you kind of need them. Um, way back in the day, diff guns were way more viable because uh, uh, ammo intakes on the firing piece itself, they loaded at the same speed as any other kind of ammo intake, whether it was on uh, a loader or a clip or whatever. Uh, but since the great APS update of whatever year that happened, I don't remember, uh, intakes that are directly uh, on the firing piece... Um, they take twice as long to load, so if we go look at our shell, that is very long and impossible. So let's go see, reload time is about 175 seconds, because this is a 500mm, 10m uh, long shell. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. And But over here, on the input, that is 350 seconds, so it takes twice as long. Uh, so usually you don't want to do this. Uh, loaders are there for a good reason, and you can easily get... Well, you literally get twice the fire rate if you stick uh, those four inputs onto loaders instead of onto the firing piece. Um, so why would you do this? Well, that question's already been answered. This shell's impossible, because it is 500 millimeters. it is uh, 10 meters long, it is mostly a gunpowder casing, it's uh, just a honking big uh, Sebo hollow point shell, more on that in a second, and this will not fit into any autoloader, so... Uh, if you go here, look at the water loaders, they only go up to 8 meters, so anything uh, longer than 8 meters, it just does not work. It just, you know, it does not fit into any, uh, just does not fit into any loader and you can't use it, unless you just load it directly uh, into the firing piece itself. So this is where uh, diff guns kind of uh, have a niche of their own for lobbing very big shells at a very, very slow firing speed. Seriously, the max fire rate of this is about... Uh, less than one shot per minute. So this really does not fire very quickly at all. Does have a 30 second cooldown, so you can get off like maybe two shots a minute uh, before uh, the ammo intakes just, you know, they they just, you know, they're all synced up funny and like it takes a million years for, uh, for the next shell to load. So, these are alpha strike weapons. Uh, these are not going to be things that continuously fire and keep the damage up. These are just something your craft spawns in and these things lock on target go boom and the thing should either be dead or very damaged indeed so uh, the kind of shell you want for that varies a little bit in this particular case taking advantage of the ridiculous shell length you can get uh, like I said this is a Sabo hollow point now it's kinetic uh, because uh, you can take advantage of the fact that it's you know it's got to be a fast shell so it doesn't miss or it's less likely to miss and it's a hollow point because uh, hollow points do not over penetrate. So if I say made this in a an armor piercing explosive shell, like which is very very good by the way, especially like on a railgun, an APHE or AP frag or AP EMP shell, that's ridiculously strong. But in this case, it wouldn't be so good because this thing only fires like less than once per minute, which means if it's an over penetration, which happens a lot with armor piercing shells, if it just if it whiffs through the superstructure of a ship, or just clips, uh, um, just clips like a few blocks, like a mast, uh, or you know, a radar mast, or something like that, uh, a lot of damage is wasted, and it's like you know, you cry. Like the only thing to do then is cry, because then it's a long time before the shell gets reloaded. Uh, hollow points don't have that problem. Doesn't matter where they hit; they will pretty much always deliver their full potential damage, whatever that is. Uh, so that's great. Uh, same thing could work. Uh, this could easily be a, a Hesh shell or a Heat shell. More Hesh rather than Heat. 
And uh, let's look at the, this kind of thing. So yeah, you've got squash heads that could work, heat shells that could work. Uh, just pure HE or EMP or frag or just something like that, something that uh, you can be sure will have a bit of splash to it and it doesn't matter uh, which bit it hits, it's going to do something. So yeah, I've been talking uh, long enough, let's shoot something with this. So I'm going to, uh, well no, I am going to do this. And uh, we'll spawn in our friend the Marauder, why not? Uh, the first shot is highly likely to miss. So 30 seconds from now, uh, we should see uh, something magic happen. Uh, I might have to speed up time a little bit. So here we have our big shell, and hopefully this shouldn't miss, hopefully it should make a mess. It did make a mess! That's a fair amount of block confetti, nice and uh, good thump, no damage wasted. Uh, but you can probably guess that just one of these guys is not really gonna cut it. Uh, because the damage output is too low. Damage per second, it's really damage per minute. Uh, it's gonna take us a long time to fully murder uh, this Marauder. And you can see, like, when cram cannons fire more than twice as fast as you, you know you've got a problem. So, uh, remember what I said about this being an Alpha Strike weapon? Oh, what did that do? Uh, basically nothing, because we haven't gotten through uh, the outside layers yet. Uh, so yeah, Alpha Strike weapon, uh, what that means is you can spam these things. So you'll notice that this turret is teeny tiny, the whole thing, not including the barrel. Uh, I have arranged so it fits into a 3x3 space. It's got a little bit of coolers, just 8, um, it's got 8 gauge increases to get to 500 millimeters. Little bit of cooling, little bit of recoil, just so it's not completely inaccurate. Uh, from its recoil, because that is a problem. This is a monster shell, and the recoil does affect its accuracy. Uh, that Marauder, apparently, is uh, having a bad day. Who would have thunk? So yeah, let's, uh, let's demonstrate what this actually uh, would look like if you mounted it uh, on, a, uh, on a ship. Something uh, like this. So... If you have, these make like great secondary weapons if you're uh, expecting to shoot at things which are big and uh, you want to wipe them out quickly, is uh, I've done some deco work here, just kind of made some slightly futuristic um, stuff, I guess, with the uh, with the block barrels and stuff like that. Uh, this is, like, you can see, like, these things individually, they are very cheap. Here it is. Uh, it's just over 2,000 materials. And that Alpha Strike hurts like hell, so let's spawn in something a little bit bigger. Let's spawn in... Let's spawn in an Eerie, why not? It has shields and everything, but uh, shouldn't matter. So, that opening volley uh, just vaporized one of the secondary guns on it. And, yeah, that's 3% health off immediately. And since these guys have uh, AA mantlets, they can aim pretty much straight up. So... If you ever decide that, you know, you want to shoot airships before they start bouncing up and down like, uh, like annoying idiots, uh, this is one way to do it. Uh, how many guns is that? Twelve. So, yeah, twelve, uh, twelve of these things, give it thirty seconds. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of damage. Just that stacked a hollow point, uh, with, uh, which does full damage to metal, by the way. This is, uh, one of the perks of such big shells, is that 41.4 armor pierce. 16,000 damage. That's a lot of metal blocks that it tends to shred off. And, uh... Outside of railguns, there's no real way to get a 500mm shell, uh, a hollow point, to get that kind of uh, armor penetration. So, that's an example. Uh, people have done this for ages, by the way. I didn't come up with this idea. Ooh, look at that. Essential components. And, uh... So yeah, that's uh, great fun, and one more uh, showcase, because I was having so much fun with this uh, that I decided to get a little bit uh, creative just with the decoration. So this is exactly the same gun, it's just in a 3x3 configuration, and you could make a dirt cheap battleship for uh, for this kind of thing. So yeah, it's three of them side by side, actually have to tweak uh, these uh, cooling vent uh, connectors a little bit so they didn't mess with each other. Same thing, uh, same shell, I believe? Or not, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's actually a slight improvement on the shell. It's got a solid warhead in there, so it's a little bit more efficient and a little bit faster. And uh, yeah, uh, I think these look amazing and they feel amazing. And by the way, if you're wondering how I got that Mimic 
uh, thing right there. I do have a mod, uh, the More Slopes mod, so those things you see right there are... It's, uh, yeah, so it's um, it's these, these boat tails, uh, which I've used to kind of make, uh, what do you call it? Like, mantle covers? There's a blast bags? I forget what they're called, but yeah, I think this looks rad as hell. Super rad as hell, and I love it. Are you stuck now? How dare you? Don't be stuck. You need to be the opposite of stuck. So let's shoot at... Oh, I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's shoot at, uh... Let's shoot... At a palisade. Why not? Why not? That's fun. And I've set a little bit of a, a stagger on them. Uh, just so they don't all fire completely at the same spot. 98% health of the Palisade, we've already knocked stuff off. You can imagine just like on your big battleship, if you've got some spare deck space, you can just slap these anywhere, so it's pretty good. I'm getting, I'm getting fond of deck guns again, simply because I like the idea of just, you have a lot of empty space and you just slap down guns. And you better believe I'm going to use this kind of deco on uh, future turrets, because I can. What did that do? Not much. So the problem with hollow points is that it doesn't penetrate. Uh, but yep, this thing's already sinking. <laughs> this thing's already got buoyancy issues. Because we just flattened... Um, we just, well, we just flattened its... Uh, the side of it, I guess. Made it more flat. We left a dent, in fact. You can't hurt me, I'm in god mode. So yeah, that's basically a quick go-over uh, for direct input fed guns and how they're useful. And, uh, yeah, now that once four shells have gone, like, yeah, that's, uh, it's gonna take a really long time for them to fire again. So, very much, uh, Alpha Strike weapons, they're really not good in a prolonged fight. Uh, but yeah, if you want to chuck 10 meter shells, uh, at your enemies, this is the way to do it. And I got to decorate turrets as an excuse for this, so that's fantastic. So, on that merry note, thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see. Wow, that's loud. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.